Hello everybody! Today I want to tell you a strong story about money. Yes, because I believe in a God who can do miracles, who can do money miracles. Yeah, that's what I believe in. I have experienced many times in my life that God has been doing a money miracle. And now I want to tell you about once upon a time I experienced a money miracle. It was in 1999, and I was going to Israel for the first time in my life. And it was so exciting, and I have saved money for a long time to get enough money to go to Israel. So I had 3,000 Norwegian crowns when I went to the airport in Oslo. But when I came to the airport, I didn't have time to go and change the money in the bank. So I sent a friend of mine to go and change the money in the bank. So I just gave him 3,000 Norwegian kroner and I told him to go and change the money into American dollars. And in the meantime, I went to the check-in to check in my luggage and I ran to the security check. And I stood by the security check and I waited for my friend. And when my friend came, he just had to give me the money. And I put the money in my wallet and I ran into the security check. And I ran further to the tax-free, uh, to the gate, and then into the flight. So then we went to Israel. And when we came to Tel Aviv in Israel, it was night. So we just took a bus to Jerusalem. And when we came to Jerusalem, we just found a cheap hostel called Petra Hostel. And we booked in there. And I went to bed. And we were sleeping on the roof for a cheap, for some small money. And when I went to bed, I thought, okay, maybe I should count my money to see that everything is there before I go to sleep. So I took up my wallet and I started to count the money. And I counted and counted and counted. And do you know what happened? Do you know what happened? It was a money miracle which happened. Because when I counted and I counted, I found 3,000 kroner more in dollars than I had. When I left Oslo, I counted again to recheck if it was if it was correct, and I found the same again, three thousand more in dollars than I had when I left Oslo, and I thought, oh, what has happened? Has the bank man or the bank woman in Oslo have they done a mistake? Or I thought, maybe God has been doing something. Maybe God has been doing a money miracle. Maybe there is somebody here in Jerusalem who needs this money. Maybe there is somebody here in Jerusalem who has been praying to get money. So when I was thinking that, it was just like God was saying to me, just put the money in a pocket. And do not touch it before I tell you who needs it. So I took the money and I put it in a pocket in my suitcase and I did not use it for 10 days. And after 10 days, we went to an international prayer meeting in a church in Jerusalem. And in that prayer meeting, it was a man from Holland. And this man, he stand up. And he testified about what he had experienced in Jerusalem. He had a service among the poor ones, among the elders in Jerusalem. And he admitted that he was broke, that he had no more money left. And when he said that, he started to cry. And when he started to cry, it was just like somebody hit my heart. And then I knew. 
that God wanted me to help this man. So I ran back to the hostel and I found the money and I ran back to the church again and I gave the money to this man. And when the man got this money, he smiled and he trembled and he shouted hallelujah and he started to cry of joy because he got a prayer answer and God had done a prayer, a money miracle and he had gave him a prayer answer and this can happen for you too. God is watching you. God is seeing you and he wants to help you today. So you can just pray to God and just have faith in your heart to God. And I believe that he will give you what you need and what you wish to get if it's after God's will. But maybe he will give it to you in another way than you expected.